Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time from the jungle, Xin Zhao. So I got to show the rune page, but I'll start doing the live com now, since I think some of you prefer it rather than me talking over later. And yeah, so Grasp of the Undying Lulu, not impressed. Aerie would be much, much better, since you'd have the whole double fairy thing going on. For Darius, he can make this work if he lands his pull. If not, then it's going to get ugly fast. The other reason why I would not recommend this is it's going to boost his defenses, and she does true damage early, so... Like, this will matter late, but it's going to take some time to get there. As for the mid lane... Like, it's near impossible to gank a LeBlanc if she knows what she's doing. And I actually played with this guy earlier, fed his ass off as an Ezreal mid. So let's see what happens this time. Overall, Comet Jin. Like, I'm trying to figure out why you wouldn't want to go airy. I don't know if that's normal for him or not. And then for Thresh, he's going Guardian because he's being the true bro thing is, this is going to really hurt the bot lane. Overall, they just need to play safe, farm up, keep an eye out for the LeBlanc roams. Kind of want to go back and see if Ez was banned out. <laughs> Not sure if you can see it at the end of the game or if I'll even remember. Jarvan is running sorcery as a secondary. I don't know if that's normal for him or not. Anyway, Shin. It's been a long time since I played him, and a lot of stuff has changed. Like, I don't even know if I played him after his rework, and obviously if I haven't, then I haven't played him since his subsequent nerfs. Passive is determination. Every third attack deals bonus damage and heals you. It's basically the old W passive. Your Q is three talent strike. This is effectively unchanged. They just changed the scaling or the rate numbers on it or something. Basically, this lowers the cooldown on your spells for the next three auto attacks. Third strike is a uh, knock-up. Each hit does a little bit of bonus damage. W is wind becomes lightning. This used to be the thing you max. Now I think you max the E. You, it's basically a Rengar key. You sweep in front of you, then you stab forward. Minions have spawned. Your E is Audacious Charge. This is effectively unchanged. It has the W active attached to it now so that it will uh, give you attack speed when you use it. And then finally, your ult is Crescent Guard. This is new. You knock everything back, you put up a shield, everything outside of that shield will be unable to hurt you, but it can still CC you. It's not really hard to take on Shen. He's still really... Like, after the W nerf, I'd say he's more to his old self, where he was a single target clear. That hasn't popped yet, so I think they saw me. So I'm not even going to bother with the chicken camp for the time being. Always forward. So that's the W. I don't know where all he warded. Never got a 
that chance to move. And the thing is, I still ended up flashing, even though I never got the chance to move. Let's just grab a longsword. Victory calls. So I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Since he should have had clear vision of Jarvan. Damasian does not retreat. And the thing is, if you look, he's only taking his buffs. Oh my god. It's one of these games. So remember, you can only gank LeBlanc if she screws up. That's a screw up. A Demacian does not retreat. This has to be awarded just based on the way they're moving. <sighs> Future games, Banarelia, dude. Sound the march. He got out without flashing. Good. I don't know what the hell's going on bot lane, though. Part of it probably is the whole grass blue thing.
shall be done. One more Q. I'll get his movement speed for future moves. The warrior spirit is near. And she got the blue. Oh, all right. Yeah, my ult expired by then. So notice right now I have 100% kill participation. does not retreat. So I don't really want to go mid because Kassin has no mana. Nothing I can do on this map. <sighs> A Demacia does not retreat. Four health. <laughs>
pass it in. Where the fuck you going, man? Meanwhile, in top lane, guess who's caught out yet again? So it's the bot lane stacks I still need. My king commands. So if they get the mid tower off of this, there's no, there's literally nothing Darius can do to make this a good trade. What's worse is with the dragon on the field, and then the whole part about them being able to collapse bot. That's a horrible, horrible trade. We kind of need our guys to pay attention. I do suspect this Lulu with the whole grasp is not helping her cause.
I don't trust Kasten to actually arrive before LeBlanc if I want to fight over here. Because I should be able to beat Aurelia. I tried. <laughs> These guys are never gonna be relevant. The game will probably end twice over before they finally get something done. Like, he's going for an extremely late game power build, and he just bought the tier 20 minutes in. Wakey wakey. A Damasian does not retreat. So we have to draw this out pretty long for this to work. Cast in Sound the march. Like, it's probably going to take another 20 minutes for Kasten to get relevant. That's just a garbage build. Moral of this story is Kassin has a garbage build. Don't go for crap like that. Like that's not even a midliner. <laughs> That's their stacks. That's an awful teleport, man. There's not a fucking thing to be done top. With a dragon on the field, there's going to be a team fight soon. Kassin has no MR. Looks like we're forfeiting dragon.
So after I tanked all of that, we still can't get anything. <laughs> So in the end, that was still a two for two, I think. But hopefully you can see how far Kasten is behind, just because he went for this really crappy build. mind this since there's no threat of steel. That's why you don't use your smite when you don't have to.
I'm not taking a chance here. Shit, I can't even type. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this. It's a little bit more versatile. Yeah, it looks like they ended. Nope, not yet. Freaking chore. Give this to. I don't know. Let's give it to Lulu. Even though she'd have the weird grasp of the undying crap going on. S minus. That's higher than I expected. Most damaged. It's shit like this that leaves me freaking speechless. I outdamaged everyone on the team. Some may say that's a testament to how overpowered Shin is, but that's more of a testament to how stupidly some of my teammates played this. Darius just turned himself into a walking bullseye. He started to redeem himself at the end. Cassidy, you can see he never became relevant. We almost made it to 35 minutes in. Nothing here. In terms of gold, Darius had more than me, which is a little surprising. Then again, it's probably due to the CS numbers. <sighs> and everyone honored the Lulu. So, frustrating game. I'm just going to move on. I'm the Hero of Light. Oh, right. So real quick, in case you're wondering why I wanted Shin, we need to go to my collection. Range these by Mastery. So by getting him, I have all the way up until Severe for my boxes unlocked. So that one, I kind of wanted to see how he fared, and then the box was just icing on the cake. It's like it's not really going to have much for it, but now I just need to worry about those two. But it's resetting soon, and... Yeah, so just keep in mind, with what you see here, this is half the boxes you need per year. And then if you go down the list, there's just various other ones here and there. But otherwise, if um, I had a little bit more, well, if I had him at Mastery 5, that would have given me a token. And then real quick, in case you're curious about the loot stats, I hit level 40, so I do have one of these. And you know what? Let's just open it now. I'm not gonna... Got a Zier, so I can disenchant that. Cho'Gath. Mm, I don't know what I want to do with that one yet. Timer, we kind of need him, and Legend 1 emote. Oh, right. So this one, when the time comes, is 1260. And then I could use this to get Heimer, Quirky, or one of the others. I'm going to leave the Honor Capsule until I do an unboxing someday. Misfortune, I don't know if I want to keep that one. Annie, it's a worthless one. 90 Blue Essence. Nasus, Twisted Fate, we can disenchant Warwick, I don't think he's worth anything. LeBlanc, we kind of need her. E, we have... So that one was the worst one of the bunch. <laughs> so I think the game is trying to say, Hero, become a midliner. We'll give you Twisted Fate, we'll give you uh, Quirky, Heimer. But the thing is, in case you're wondering who I'm... Yeah, he is worth next to nothing. Who I'm saving up for, it is either Rakan or Rengar, one of those two. And... Eh, you know what, we'll do it. And... we get Singed and Poppy. Two key fragments. So that was an utter waste. <laughs> So if I were to disenchant that, 270 and then 90, or wait, no, they're both 450s, so, like, these honor capsules are such a freaking ripoff. <laughs> then I guess I could put Skarner up to Mastery 7, but that's kind of it for now. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.